What's the chow, chin chows? Joe's PH Games here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. In the last episode, I asked you guys to pick my starter for our adventures into Unova for our Pokemon Black Let's Play. And you guys are coming out in your droves, and we have a substantial winner, so let's pick him already. Okie dokie guys, remember we had the Tepig, Snivy, and Oshawott. So let's do this in reverse order, with a substantial one vote, Snivy. With three votes, Tepig. But our winner, with five votes, is Oshawa. Joe chose Oshawa. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. And Sharon, this one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick which Pokemon who who gets which Pokemon there? Uh, you don't get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Snivy anyway. Uh, fun to start. Everyone's chosen a Pokemon, so that's it. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Uh... I don't think this is a good idea, Bianca, you know. Honestly, Bianca, even though these Pokemon are still weak, they shouldn't be having Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry, Rust. Charon. These Pokemon are little... are just weak, just like you said. We have to battle for them to get, to get stronger. It's settled, Joe! Get ready for a Pokemon battle! Bianca, we're inside a house. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a house. This, more importantly, this is my house. Can we, do, can we go to your house and do this? Can we go to your house, Bianca, and do this? I mean, come on, seriously. Okay, fine, whatever. I realize I need to set the clock back on my DS. It hasn't done it yet. That's the... Like... On my regular DS, that's automatic. I'm just realising it now, on this, it's not. I have to do it by... I have to do it manually. That's annoying. But, <laughs> never mind about that. Anyway, we're going to face a very basic match with uh, Tepig. Here, right here. We have two moves. We have Tackle, and of course we also have Tail Whip. Now, Tail Whip lowers the defence of the Pokémon that you're opposing. And Tackle just attack. Tackle just attacks them for a relative amount of damage, and as long as you keep on tackling, you should be fine. The computer may do a few chair whips here and there, but you should be fine to just tackle and hopefully win. Now, of course, crits can happen, and they can do a lot of damage to you, especially if they get a lot of tail whips in. But, uh, relatively most of the time you should win, you probably won't lose. Not Bad with the crit. Well done, Oshawa. Not bad, but we almost leveled up there. Both Pokemon on both sides did their best. Bianca, what the hell have you done to my room? My room! Wow. Joe, you're going to be an awesome trainer one day. I can tell. No doubt. Um, uh, Bianca, would you look around your room? It's a, it's a heap. What did you do? Wow, what happened here? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad I got a Poke, I got to get a Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry about your room, Joe. Yeah, you're sorry. Yeah, you're not going to help me tidy up or anything like that. My mum's going to freak, you know. My mum's downstairs. She's going to freak about this mess, you know, Bianca. She's going to absolutely freak here. Oh, you're completely hopeless, Bianca. Here, I'll destroy your Pokemon. Sharon healed Bianca's Pokemon. 
Joe, your Pokemon needs fixing up as well. Sharon Hill Joe's Pokemon. Not bad. Hey, Sharon, I've got an idea. How about you have a battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can't make the room into any more of a mess. Like I did. I believe you're right, Bianca. It'll be no problem for me to keep this room from getting any messier. It's already a war zone thanks to you. Besides, it's not fair that you two got a chance to battle and I didn't. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in my first Pokemon battle, Joe. Let's see what you, you can do, Snivy. Okie dokie, we're going to have another match with our rival here. We're going to face Charon now, the oddly Scottish person that I've decided to make Scottish for this entire Let's Play. Yeah, I don't really have that many accents, and I'm all, I always fall back on the Scottish accent for some some reason. Because I can do, I can pull it off pretty nicely. See, that's the thing about British people. We don't pull, we don't do like, we don't do voices. We do like accents. We do different accents of people, which people don't realise. I finally become a trainer. So everything starts from here. Okay. Of course, we are going to have another relative easy match with uh, Charon, of course, here. And basically, again, all you need to do, just tackle away and you probably should be fine. Of course, Charon has Leah, which again, lowers the defense just like our Tail Whip does. So, again, it's pretty interesting, but uh, it's not, it's a kind of boring move, actually. I don't want to deal with Leah. Stop leering me. There we go. And the Snivy is down. And we go to level 6. Not bad, Oshawa. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. I suppose the room's not that much mess more messier than it was before. That's again. I made a strange blunder in my first battle. But the feeling... It this feeling I have, I'm fine as a train. I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better apologize to your mom about this mess up with your room. She's gonna freak. Oh, I better go too. Ser seriously, look at the mess that this room's in. The bed is a mess. You can tell. You tell me. Well, that was a waste paper bin, but it's not now. The PC seems to be fine, although I'm not sure why. <laughs> Look at this nice new telly that my dad bought. Look at this nice new 32-inch telly that my dad bought, and it's 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 been messed up. There's footprints all over the walls. Damn you, Bianca! This nice little house plant over here has been trashed. Damn you, Bianca! Oh, but my Wii is fine. Yeah, my Wii is fine, it doesn't have a scratch on it. So I can still play Smash. Oh wait, Smash isn't out yet. Ah, oh, I can still play Project M. I'm very sorry about uh, what happened, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up the mess. Clean up? No worries, I'll take care of that later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, please excuse us. Come on, Bianca. Let's go and see the Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting for you outside the Pokemon Research Lab, Joe. Oh, wait. I better go home first. Thanks for having us over. Hey, Mum. My, my, Joe. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? You could hear the Pokemon's cries from down here. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. You know, after a good battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Your Pokemon look... Your Pokemon are... Is your Pokemon... Sorry. Your Pokemon is looking great! Now if you're going out, 
Don't forget your cross transceiver. Yay, I got a cross transceiver! I don't know if it's called the cross transceiver or the X transceiver. You know, it's, it's weirdly announced. You can go and thank prof the professor too, aren't you, Joe? Right. Better get going. Bye, honey. Bye, mom. Right, first things first. Uh, another first things first. I'm going to set the tech speed to fast. Uh, and that's probably all I need to do. Okie dokie, tech speed is now fast, and I can go. And look, this Woobat about. Well, it is night time, so I would consider there being Woobat about. If you're playing in the day, you will see Puduff uh, flying through the uh, towns. So we are in November Town here. The power of science is amazing. You can now use infrared to spot things in a blink of an eye. Hey, well you can, but you need to have uh, more than one DS in the area to do it. So it's not the best idea. Do you think traveling with Pokemon changes people? Uh, yes. Me too. Traveling. I'm thinking about thing many things can be diff definitely make a difference. What if I say no? What if I say no? What if I say no though? I've got to stop saying yes. I've got to stop saying yes and say no. You're right. It's just fine. It's just it's fine to enjoy the journey without overthinking it. Okay. That's what happens if you say no. I saw another little kid over here. What do you, what do you say? I heard there were lots of Pokemon and many different people all over the world. When I hear stories about them, I get very excited. Okay. I believe we have to go to Bianca's house first. So let's go and talk to Bianca. Let's go and talk to Bianca. Let's go to Bianca's house and talk to Bianca. No! A thousand times no! But, Dad, I'm a... I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything! I have totally go on an adventure! Please let me go on an adventure! Dad! Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Joe. I'll be waiting for you outside the front of the lab, okay? Hey, Bianca's dad, let her go on an adventure! What's... What nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about this world, go on an adventure with Pokemon? Seriously, how could she do that? Don't mind my husband, dear. He's just over... He's just being overprotective. All children go on adventures with Pokemon. It's a part of growing up. That's right, it is a part of growing up. It's a very big part of growing up. Okay, so question of the day for today's episode is, guys, what is your favorite fifth gen Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section what your favorite fifth gen Pokemon is. My favorite fifth gen Pokemon, I would have to say, is Haxorus. Haxorus is an amazing dragon type Pokemon. And to tell you the truth, I didn't fall in love with Haxorus until sixth gen, until I was playing through my very first Pokemon X Wonderlock that I was doing it on my own, with my own 3DS that didn't have a capture ability, sadly. But I was doing it on that, and uh, I got a Hexorus... I got a Fracture named BC from the Wonder Trade Market, and it was amazing. It was one of my best finds. Sadly, it never made it to the Elite Four, but it was one of my best Wonder Trade Pokemon, and that's why I fell in love with Hexorus, and that's why Hexorus is my favourite Pokemon of all time. And... Um, Definitely one of my Nuzlocke heroes is uh, BC the uh, Haxorus. And the sign of Axew and uh, Fracture and Haxorus, this is so cool Pokemon. I really do love, like, really powerful attack... Uh, really powerful attack Pokemon, like uh, Haxorus. Okay, let's go inside and meet the Professor. Okie dokie, let's do that. So what is your favourite foot? What is your favourite 5th gen Pokemon? Answer that in the comments section, please. 
Hi there! I've been waiting for ver for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Your name is Professor Juniper, isn't it? We know your name. Ah, oh, come, come, Sharon. That's not... There's no time to take things lightly. Today's a big day, remember? So let's... It's best to behave with... with formats... formally. So, with that being said, my name is Professor Juniper and I'm researching how creatures called Pokemon come into existence. Oh, that's unusual. Your Pokemon have already had a Pokemon battle. Maybe that's why. It feels like your Pokemon have began to trust you already. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would. So, what would my nickname be for Oshawott? Uh, it took me a while, it took me quite a few days actually to come up with a good name for Oshawa, but I have one now, and uh, so let's say it, let's do it already. I'm going to call you S M uh, S A M. Where is it? U L uh, uh, E. -L. Oh, damn it! My my uh, I'm all over the place today. I can't move my map, uh, stylus the right way. So there goes Samuel is his nickname. I may I'll probably go into uh, um, why in a minute. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Uh, so you're okay with the nickname Samuel? Yes, I am. Samuel. That's such a great name. And that's why I gave you all a Pokemon. It's to complete the Pokedex, right? You want you gave us all the Pokemon to complete the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? What's a Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? So let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech encyclopedia that automatically records data on Pokemon that you encounter. So I want you guys to go out there and meet as many different Pokemon as you can in the Unova region. That's my request. Joe, Bianca, Cheren. I want... Will you go on an adventure and with your Pokemon and complete the Pokedex for me? Now, of course, we do get to answer no here. So let's see what happens if we say no. Yeah. Here's what I need from. Oh yeah. Okay, fine. You're just gonna. It's an everlasting loop. Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh. Because of you, I get to become a Pokemon trainer. It's uh, exactly what I've always wished for. All of you, thanks. You gave me, the, you've given me the best possible answer. Well, I said no first, so I didn't really give you the best possible answer, now did I? We've obtained a Pokedex, by the way. Next, I'm going to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Follow me out to Route One, okay? Since the professor's gone, since the professor's asked us, it'd be okay to go on an adventure, right? I mean, I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think that's, of course, you can tra we can travel wherever we want, however we want, and whilst we're completing that Pokedex. Hey, mum. Hey, wait up, Joe. Oh, there you are, Joe. And uh, what did the professor have to say to you? Uh, she asked you to, to complete the Pokedex. I can't, I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I actually asked her to do it. I already knew she was going to ask you. That's why I bought each of you guys a time map. To take with you. Okay, so we obtained a town map. 
Now the town map shows us the whole region. I don't know why it's always called a town map. That's one of the things I got a really I get really annoyed about in Pokemon. It's a town map, but it shows you the entire region. Usually a town map just shows you one town. So it should be called, I don't know, the world map, the region map, the country map, maybe? Not just a town map. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And here's one for you, Bianca. Thank you so very much. Joe, I mean, uh, as for your room, well, what's left of it anyway? There's nobody to worry about it. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Joe? Okay, Mum. Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute, but with enough power to destroy a bedroom. That, that's really something. With Pokemon with by your side, you'll be able to go wherever you want to go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find a lot of different places. Yes, you'll go to a lot of different places in the human race region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip, Joe. If I use my town map, I'll know where to go. It'll certainly be helpful. We should head out onto Route 1. That's where the professor is waiting for us. Let's go, let's go. Joe, let's hurry up, go. Okie wrong. Okie dokie, Bianca. Let's go. I wish I had my running shoes, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to walk it. Joe, this way. Uh, Bianca says uh, if we're going to be starting another journey together, we... She says we should all take a step out onto Route 1 at the exact same time. Hey, Joe. Let's all go out and take our first step onto Route 1 at the exact same time. Okay, okay here we go. One, two. Oh, that, I wonder what's going to happen. Isn't this so, so exciting? It sure is. I mean, come on, the, the, the professor's waiting. Uh, professor Juniper, I'm sorry uh, that we kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokemon's po the Pokedex pages are uh, the Pokedex pages update automatically when you meet a Pokemon. Move over. I'm. Set up to obtain. Moreover, that it's set up to obtain. It gives you more information if you obtain that Pokemon. To make it clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. We really need to see this. Do we really need to see this? I'm pretty sure I know how to catch a Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure my subscribers know how to catch a Pokemon as well, uh, Professor Juniper. Okay, so Professor Juniper is going to try and catch this level 2 Patrat. She's going to pound this uh, Patrat. She's going to take it, that takes it down to the red. Now, of course, the Patrat uses Leer. And eventually, she will throw a Pokeball. So she's going into her bag now. She's going to click the Pokeball section. She's going to pick one of her 30 Pokeballs. She, why does she get 30, by the way, guys? She throws it at the Pokemon, and of course, she is going to catch it. One, two, and three. She catches the Pokemon. And she caught the Pat Rat. Yay. Did you see that just now? First, I'll go through it step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. That's its little life bar. Uh, Pokemon have a lot of energy. So when they have a lot of energy, they're difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make it easier for them to catch. You can use a status condition like Sleep or Paralysis. Freeze is also pretty good too. And then wrap it up in the best way by throwing some Pokeballs at it. Here are some of those. And we got some Pokeballs! Yay! If this was a Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke would officially start now, but it doesn't because like this is a Let's Play, not a Nuzlocke. But anyway... Pokeballs are used for catching wild Pokemon, and they are used for obtaining, for carrying the Pokemon that you catch. 
I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out of the wild grass. Uh, but that's sort of implied. I'm heading to Apunia Town too. I think I'll go that way too. I'm looking forward to going into the next town and shopping for some more Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, Joe, listen. Cheren, listen. I thought of something fun. What have you thought of, Bianca? We need, but we need to get going. Uh, I imagine the professor is waiting for his tour. Would you shut up and listen for a sec? Seriously, Charon. Hmm. Why don't we have a contest to see how many Pokemon we can catch? The person who catches the most Pokemon, including the one they received from Professor Juniper, uh, is the winner. Huh? Actually, that sounds rather interesting. Uh, It'll help us fill up the Pokedex pages rather quickly. I'm sure the professor will be happy too. Okay then, until we reach Accumulator Town. I'll take care of healing your own Pokemon and your house. Me and Tepic will do our best for sure. Okie dokie guys, we've been set a challenge by Bianca to catch as many Pokemon as possible. But I'm not going to excuse cat. I may catch one, I don't know. I actually don't really know if I want to actually use any of that one Pokemon in, the, in this Let's Play. But I'm, I'm actually a really big fan of Route 1 Pokemon. I actually do really love some Route 1 po a lot of Route 1 Pokemon. And hopefully, I might go here to get one of those right now. It is not a level 2 pack rat though. That is definitely what I'm telling you right now. I am not going to take on a level 2 Pat Rat. So, get out of here, Pat Rat. I'm going to take you down because I'm not catching you. Damn it, I want to level up, though. Never mind. But if this is a Lily Pop, I. Oh, it is a Lily Pop. Oh, and it's level 4. Team, this is going on the team. I actually did want to catch a lily pup and put it on the team, so that would be really cool if we can get this. So let's try and get this. Let's try and get a lily pup here. So I'm going to tackle it a few times. I'm not going to tackle it a lot of times. I think I might tackle it one more time. I think it may last another tackle, so let's tackle it one more time. And it did last another tackle. Cool. Okay, let's go for the Pokeball then. I actually really do want a Lily Pop on my team, so I'm going to get this. Okie dokie, guys, we're going to catch this Lily Pop. One, two, three. Yay, we caught the Lily Pop. All right, not bad. And so we don't ex experience because this is not X and Y. And we have Lillipup, the puppy Pokemon. It faces strong opponents with great courage. But it's at a diff when it's at a difficult, uh, but when it's in a disadvantage in fight, it's intelligent and decides to flee. Okay. And I will give a nickname to this Pokemon. Now, what do I want to call you? Well, if it fits, I want to name you after what breed of dog I believe you're. You're after. You're uh, based on. So, with this in mind, I want to call you. Yorkshire! That's what I want to call you. I want to call you Yorkshire. Because I believe Lillipop, Scoutland, and it's uh, Her and Herdy, the whole Lillipop evolution line, are based on the Yorkshire Terrier, of, uh, which is a breed of dog. Based, mostly based over here, but you know. They have, a bit, they have them in America as well. I believe that's what they're based on. I'm not exactly sure if that's the case, but I believe that's what they're based on. How about it, Joe? Did you were you capable of catching Pokemon? Do you want to show us them? It seems the number of Pokemon you've caught is two. We all have the same number then. Identical. Uh, incidentally, if uh, your Pokemon if your Pokedex pages can get filled up, 
you'll be able to see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Akumina Town, the professor's rating. The Crossroads Shiba is ringing. Hello? Hello, how is everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting great along great now, right? Oh, oh Professor? Right now I'm in front of the uh, Accumulus Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around it, so hurry up everyone. Okay, okay. Let's go to the Pokemon Center, alright? Okay, see you. Bye, Professor. Well, I'm going on ahead now. Okie dokie. So we are in Accumula Town. And we are going to go and talk to the Professor. And we're going to be shown around this Pokedex, uh, Pokemon Center, sorry. And then we're going to end the episode after that. Ah, Joe. There you are. Traveling with your Pokemon on, this tr on an adventure is truly full of joys. Now follow me. I'd like to show you around the most important place for, for a trainer to know. The Pokemon Center. This is... This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you walk in? It's like a hospital for Pokemon. Let's start off with the tour, Joe. Oh, wait for me. A Pokemon Center is where it's a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because you can get your Pokemon healed here. And more importantly, it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for health insurance like you might in America. Which is where this region is based on. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Joe, give it a try. Okay. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Oh, we will restore your Pokemon. So you're up to full health. Would you like us to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon have been fully restored. We hope to see you again. I really don't hope to see you again because, well, basically that means that my Pokemon are not restored anymore. Okay, now that you've had your Pokemon rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. I, I'm using a PC right now to record this. I'm pretty sure I know how to use a PC. Well, actually, I'm using a capture card which is plugged into my PC, and then I'm using a program on my PC to record this. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how to use a PC. So, uh, this is a PC. It's free to use for any trainer. You can uh, store Pokemon in the PC boxes and select the Pokemon that you've stored in there to join you on your team. In addition, if you catch any more Pokemon than the six Pokemon that you're allowed to carry with you as a trainer, they'll be stored in the PC. They're automatically sent to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Here's someone else that's... Someone else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll be able to evaluate your uh, Pokedex. Professor? It says someone's PC on the title of the uh, Pokemon boxes. Who's this someone? Uh, very good, Bianca. It's a great observation. It's a good question. I'd like to say more, but for now, I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. And uh, go ahead and use the PC anyway. We don't really need to know whose PC it actually is. There's someone there. Uh, you'll eventually meet them. She's This person is in charge of the Pokemon storage system. I'm sure you'll meet them one day. Come on, let's get moving then. Now this is the Pokemon Mart. It's in every Pokemon Center in the Unova region. It's a place where you can buy and sell items. And so you don't need any more. That gentleman over there is the Mart attendant. He will always greet you with a smile. Yeah, because he's told to. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. I, I'm going to go back to November Town now. Oh, one final thing. When you get to Stryington City, go ahead and meet an event named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from a long time ago. I'm sure she'll help. I 
I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck on your journeys. Prove to, prove to the adventurers that the adventure, have an adventure of lifetime. Oh, I don't know what to buy. I need to go shopping, shopping, shopping. Uh, potions, Pokeballs, that's, that's definitely important mm, thinking. And I'm going to leave you f on that note with your thinking, Bianca. I'll leave that to you. But of course, this is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. So in today's episode, we made it right here to Akunia Town. And we went through the basics and introductions to the Pokemon Black game. And of course, we picked our starter in Samuel the Oshawott. So what nature do you have, Samuel? You're a careful nature. No, oh, I'm not sure about that, but okay, Samuel. What's... Okay, Samuel. And, of course, we also have Yorkshire, who has a bashful nature. But with that, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Answer today's question of the day, which, of course, is... Who is your favourite fifth-gen Pokemon? And until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and I am out. See you again.